What is lead? How does it affect us? And why is it dangerous? We have answers and tips to protect you and your relatives. Lead is a metal that exists naturally in the environment. It was used in many household products like paint and water pipes. Lead was removed from most products in the 1980s because it is toxic. However, many older buildings and products still contain lead. Lead exposure happens when lead enters the body through contaminated air, water, food, or soil and dust. Lead can damage the brain, nervous system, and other parts of the body. Children 6 years old and younger are more sensitive to the effects of lead because they are still growing and developing. The damaging effects of lead exposure in children include behavioral problems and hyperactivity, learning problems and lower IQ, slowed physical growth and development, hearing problems, and anemia, which is when the body has fewer red blood cells than it should. Some of these health effects can be permanent or long-lasting. This makes it important to limit lead exposure. Today, most products are made without lead now that we know lead is toxic. However, past uses of lead still affect us today. Lead contamination in drinking water is a common source of lead exposure. Homes and buildings built in the 1980s and earlier may contain plumbing with lead pipes. Children can be exposed to lead if they drink water that passes through lead pipes. Babies can be exposed to lead if they drink formula that is mixed with contaminated water. Homes, toys, and furniture may have lead-based paints if they were made before 1978. Lead-based paint that cracks or peels can create lead dust and paint chips. A person can be exposed to lead by breathing in lead-based paint dust or putting the lead-based paint chips in their mouth. Lead exposure can happen outside of the home through certain jobs and activities that use lead-based products. These include fishing with lead weights or sinkers, consuming wild game that was harvested with lead ammunition and not properly cleaned, using lead-based ceramic glazes, and working in battery recycling centers. Clothes worn during these activities may be contaminated with lead and can expose relatives if worn in the home. The good news is that lead exposure is preventable. You can take steps to prevent lead exposure and identify lead exposure early to protect your health and your relative's health. For example, get your water tested for lead by a certified water tester. Use cold water for drinking, cooking, and mixing baby formula since hot water can have more lead in it. Use lead test strips to check for lead in paint. If your paint contains lead, paint over it and regularly paint any areas that chip or peel. If you or a family member has a job or a hobby that uses lead, use soap and water to wash your hands and remove any lead before touching other surfaces, change into clean clothes before coming home, and keep tools, equipment, and shoes out of the house. Eat foods rich in calcium, iron, and vitamin C since these nutrients can help reduce how much lead the body takes in. Lead poisoning is difficult to recognize. You cannot taste or smell lead, and it is hard to see when mixed with other things. However, sources of lead can be identified and reduced. A health provider can test blood for lead if a person has been exposed. While the effects of lead exposure cannot be reversed, they can be managed. Contact your health care provider if you think you were exposed to lead. Preventing lead exposure is important for keeping our community safe. We can all work together to create a healthier environment for the next seven generations. If you have any questions or seek additional resources on lead, contact the Great Lakes Intertribal Epidemiology Center at 715-588-3324.